I had a lot of wounds to heal before I went into this phase of my ministry. Lifting came supernatural. I was born strong. And so for me to put myself out in the world as a strong man and teach people how to be strong, it's like I already did that maybe in a previous lifetime. It's very easy for me to be a warrior. But this path of the priest that I'm also called to, there were some things inside that I needed to resolve first. I needed to be the strong man on the inside and I had some weaknesses that needed to be exposed to myself and then dealt with before I was prepared to go full on in the direction I'm going now. And quite frankly, I had to deal with my inner beta, that feminized, weak, sick, sad boy that's traumatized and confused on the inside. Again, you know, to show someone how to lift when you know how to lift is pretty cool, but to lift someone else's soul up, my soul needed to be lifted first. Because I knew that this was a part of my path, and I knew that healing was essential for this part of my path. I was called to go inward and I stopped making YouTube videos. Started having a lot of physical injuries, but it also gave me the opportunity to step away and to go into a catabasis of sorts, go into the tunnel where I could begin working on those things. I guess I would say that I was stunted in my growth in this lifetime in relationship to women. I married my high school girlfriend because I didn't dissipate my energy trying to meet women and bust the nuts all over the place. So it was an advantage, but at the same time, to be a mentor to men means you've got to have the empathy and the knowledge to deal with them in the type of pains that they're going to experience. And so I never needed to confront my inner beta in that way. I had to heal a lot of things. That was one it was super important for me uh, on the surface, meaning like to actually be able to minister and speak to men in that way. This past year has had been the toughest for me because I had to confront a lot of that stuff. I, mean, I started looking at what are men talking about? And mm -hmm. I discovered the manosphere. I didn't know this existed. All these things were just like added to me at the last moment to arm me with, okay, exactly the language and the tools I need to now bring my experience and the value thereof. I was afraid of rejection. I didn't like rejection. I don't like being told no. I don't like being told I can. So when it came to women, it was like, I muster up all kinds of courage for all kinds of other things that has done great things in my life, but I never had to confront, how you would say, aversion to a rejection in terms of women. And it, I suffered as a result of it in other areas it began with confronting my own inner wounded feminine. And that took on a lot of different weird, a lot of weird things that I had to confront and do and see about myself as it related to the relationship I had with my own inner lover. And I began to realize that I had an inappropriate relationship to women. I discovered how wrong it was, how backwards it was, and I needed to repent. It begins with the inappropriate relationship to mommy that we have. The foundational aspect of the rites of passage of masculinity, of being a man, moving away from the world of the mother and atonement with the father. It's more than just an idea. It has to take on a drama. It has to be acted out symbolically. Otherwise, it doesn't carry any weight. But what that would typically look like is, you know, boy starts acting like a man, starts feeling himself. Parents, tribe, elders recognize, okay, it's time. And so they would enact a drama where the men would come in with masks and strip the boy away from his mother. And instantly that would reveal his inner beta, his little inner mama's boy. The mother <laughs> would act along in the drama, but it was critical for him to go through that pain he needs to be set apart. And so in that separation from mother where, you know, I could stop there, but it then creates space for atonement with the world of the father, which is a whole nother story.